and I know that you always make uh, these big plans. So everybody wants that you fight versus Shazam or versus Superman. But uh, then there, there came some gossip about uh, Black Adam versus uh, Justice League or versus uh, Suicide Squad. So what are you dreaming with this character and with the future of, of the DC Universe? Here's why it was a good thing we waited 10 years because I'm in a different position than I was 10 years ago about the time when we first met. I'm in a different position. I can call the plays and those plays are going to be run today. 10 years ago was a little different. Yes. I could suggest the plays. <laughs> It's not the same. But that's the fun part about being in this world of DC and the love that I have. I've been a DC boy and I'm still a DC boy. To be in this position now and to be able to run the plays in the way that we see appropriate to build out the DC universe. And man, most important thing, listen to the fans. Yes. The fans will always guide you where you need to go. And that's the new era I talk about in the DC universe. And in the DC universe, they haven't always listened to the fans in the past. Well, things are different. Black Adam, things are different. So that's why we can introduce the JSA. That's why in Black Adam, Superman, Batman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Flash, they all coexist in our world. Black Adam's not over here, and the Joker's over here, and you know Justice League's over here. In our world, they all exist. Because ideally, in my mind, it's a little crazy, they all cross paths because the fans want that. And there's a good creative way that we could figure that out. They all cross paths. I love Superman. <laughs> I love Superman. I have a passion for Superman. But I love Black Adam more. <laughs> But And I also know that Black Adam is blessed with the powers almost that of Superman, that will make for a great collision one day. So again, Black Adam colliding with all of these characters in the DC universe. We come to the table with that open mind. So if you said to me, Suicide Squad, I say yes. Justice League, I say yes. You, you name them. <laughs> you open up the book. Uh, Super Pets, I say yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So every. So, The Rock, Black Adam, Teeth Adam himself, recently in an interview has confirmed that he is the head of DC Studios with Seven Bucks Production. So, I played an interview before this video started, and you literally hear him say, yo, I can do whatever I want with the DC characters, which is amazing to hear. So, yo, what is freaking good YouTube voice you hear? If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of Marvel DC pop culture based content that we do on a daily basis. If you could, subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications on and let me know down below. Are you happy with The Rock having that much leeway, that much power at DC Studios, aka Warner Bros. Discovery? Because as we recently found out, Walter Hamada and Cern of Toby Emmerich, the old regime at Warner Brothers, Remember, it's Warner Brothers stopped Henry Cavill Superman returning. What the freaking hell are you doing? So now Warner Bros. Discovery is in charge. And we've known this before that company was formed because David Zasloff said the following. We want Batman Superman. Wonder Woman at the forefront of the company for DC going forward. He just didn't say we want Black Adam at the forefront as well. So if you could check us out on Instagram at Warstu to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. We are getting close to 22,000 followers over there. It's the easiest platform to engage with me. I do reply to most DMs if you are respectful. I try to, but I get so many messages over there. I appreciate all the love, support, criticism, and hate. And if you could check us out on Twitter, I was 2G because we've got no followers over there or no clout, apparently. So let's get into the video. So the title of the video is finally... There's a fully connected DC universe, thanks to the Black Adam, the Rock Dwayne Johnson himself, because that's literally what he said in this interview. When asked about the alleged, is Black Adam going up against the Justice League and Suicide Squad? I've wanted someone to come out and say this for the longest time, because although the multiverse is cool, that puts everyone in different Earths. But the Rock said this on the new DCEU, which is not really a new DCEU, it's the same DCEU, just changed. So he had this to say, we're reading the exact quote. Black Adam, Wonder Woman, Superman, Warshu, Batman, The Flash. They all coexist in the same world. Black Adam is on one side, the Joker's on the, the other. Justice League, on the other, and they all cross paths at some point because the fans want it. And then he went on to say, 10 years ago, I didn't have this much to say to say. I could suggest things, but now I can say things. So he's pretty much talking about his Hollywood 
pull that he has. He has a lot of power in Hollywood. Although a lot of people won't admit that he does, Dwayne has a lot of say in Hollywood. Now, I don't actually believe he does actually have that much power in what he's saying. What he's actually saying is, but he didn't say this, is him with Danny Garcia, with Hiram Garcia, over at Seven Bucks Productions, they have a lot of say in what could happen. Now, if The Rock, Dwayne Johnson can bring back Superman, Mr. Henry Cavill. Sure, it's not just him. It's endless meetings with Danny Garcia, the manager who reps Henry Cavill. It wouldn't just be snappy fingers because the old regime would not be there anymore. It still would have been a lot of conversations because let's be honest, careful for spoilers, I don't want to ruin your life. Henry Cavill's only in this movie for literally 10 seconds and he talks for like three seconds and literally says, no one's made anyone in this world nervous for such a long time. I think when you talk, so ain't got them lines, I'm paraphrasing. So it is cool they do have power. So if you want the Snyderverse restored, all you got to do is actually use The Rock's words against him when he says the fans want what they want. And if they want that, we'll make it work. But let's be honest, it's only the minority of the fans that want the side of us back. We've already got the side of us. It's here. We've literally got every single actor and character that Zachary Snyder set up, excluding Ray Fisher Cyborg. But I'm pretty sure he can come to the table now. So it is cool that they're literally confirming the Justice League is back, not just Superman, or Batfleck, Batman, Ben Affleck. We know he's in The Flash. We know he's in Aquaman too. We don't know when Lost Kingdom is actually set. Do we? No. People keep going, yo, it's set after The Flash because it comes out after The Flash. I'm like, Black Widow came out after Endgame, but it was set multiple years before Endgame. What is your freaking point? Logic. Movies don't always release in chronological order. Do they? No, this is a comic book made up universe they can release whenever they feel like. So that is so cool that The Rock has a lot of say. He really does, which tells you this movie will have to bang. This movie will have to bang. Maybe not a billion dollars, but this movie's going to have to at least bang six to seven hundred million dollars. So the Black Adam essentially saying He's in charge of the DCEU hierarchy going forward. And I would love to see the nightmare scene play out. Justice League 2 and 3. The Legion of Doom. But bring Black Adam into the equation. That would be really cool. Bring the Justice Society of America into the equation. That would be even better. That would really would be cool. So, also in the news, we have some Aquaman 2 news allegedly. We have to say allegedly because we don't know if any of this information is actually true. So, apparently, according to Saul Abdul, who is a up-and-coming Twitter scooper, if you like, he had this to say, according to, well, actually, actually, I don't know he, if he specifically said it, it's, it's paraphrasing what he said. Almost everyone is back on set. Almost is the key word. Indeed, Mira is still a mystery. On July the 26th, Abdul explained that there were new scenes featuring Mira. However, nobody could tell him who the actress was. Abdul now heavily admits the actress identity is heavily guarded. So, I mean, sure, bro. There's rumors been going around for the longest time ever that Amber Heard has been recast by Amelia Clark. But she's in Secret Invasion. Can you work for Marvel and DC? Maybe, I don't know. Not unless your name's Michael Keaton. So, the, the article, the fluff piece, whatever you want to call it, went and say... This triggers the question, if it is Amber Heard, why hide it? Abdul feels that Amber Heard can't be back in the film. In fact, he's leaning towards a recast. On the other hand, Abdul argues that Mira wasn't that important to the plot, therefore they could cut Mira out. Still, Warner Bros. Discovery is hiding it. I mean, that is pretty interesting. We did get Jason Moa on his Instagram story the other day, shooting a scene, advertising his Apple TV show, and you could clearly see... Nicole Kidman behind him. So, the apparent rumor for what Mira is meant to do in this movie is she's going to give birth to Arthur Curry's son, and that'll be it. And apparently, she did have some fight scenes, but they were cut. I mean, to me, this isn't really that interesting article, but I wanted to put something else in the video. I mean, if Mira's taken out, that will be an interesting topic point because obviously the court case is really bad negative press. But then again, you look at the side of the flash, you have Ezra Miller, the main star of a movie who's playing two different characters, being accused of literally everything under the sun, child grooming, all this kind of stuff, court orders with the parents against Ezra Miller not wanting Ezra Miller anywhere near their children. It's pretty bad. The marketing for The Flash and also for Aquaman is going to have to be really tight. And the fact that Henry Cavill Superman is actually going to be in The Flash, you've got Ben Affleck in there, you've got Michael Keaton in there, can literally take the heat off Ezra Miller because we all know Ezra Miller's pretty much done and dusted after The Flash. Unless, 
a miracle happens. I don't know who to believe. He's either out or he's in. It is fascinating. But I'm sure that it's going to be all right either way. DCU seems to be in a pretty cool spot at the moment. So let me know. Is Mira going to be recast? I won't put anything to do with that in the title. It's just a throwaway subject in the video. Do you want Amber Heard to be replaced by Amelia Clark or someone like that? I think it'd be interesting either way. So like always, guys, let me know. Is The Rock really in charge of the DCEU? He sure as hell is talking like that. So like always, guys, check it out on Instagram at Wush you to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. Check us out on Twitter at Wush you G. And also subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I'll catch you in another video, guys, very soon. Catch you later.